Good morning, students. So let's start our new chapter, second chapter, animals everywhere. So in this chapter, the topics, main topics in this chapter are breathing in animals, organs of breathing, feeding habits in animals, organs of feeding, movement in animals, and the migration among animals. These are the topics to be covered in this chapter so let's start our class are you ready okay so can you recall what is habitat did you study in your last classes in fourth or fifth yes the natural home or surroundings of an animal where it lives eats grows and has babies is called its habitats the natural home or surroundings of an animal where it lives eats grows and has babies is called its habitat the large animal kingdom consists of different types of animals their organs of breathing feeding and movements are suited to the habitats so first topic is breathing in animals breathing in animals animals need to breathe to get what yes to get oxygen animals need to breathe to get a oxygen oxygen burns the food within the bodies and releases energy for various activities what is oxygen doing oxygen burns the food within the bodies and releases energy why we need energy we need energy for various activities so what is oxygen doing oxygen burns the food within the bodies and releases energy for various activity animals get the supply of oxygen from the surroundings from where did these animals get oxygen yes animals got the supply of oxygen from the surroundings land animals breathe in oxygen from the air while fish and other aquatic animals take oxygen from yes water now we want to know the organs of breathing in different animals different animals have different types of organs for breathing so first we will check microbes of microscopic animals. Microscopic animals like amoeba and paramecium breathe through the body surface. How this amoeba and paramecium breathe? This amoeba and paramecium breathe through the body surface. Now can you say how small insects like grasshoppers and cockroaches breathe? What is their organ of breathing? Yes, insects like grasshoppers and cockroaches breathe through the air holes on the bodies. You can see small air holes on this insect's bodies. So, this insects like grasshoppers and cockroaches breathe through air holes on the bodies. And these holes are called spiracles. These holes are called spiracles. The blood of insects does not contain the oxygen carrier called hemoglobin. The blood of insects does not contain the oxygen carrier called hemoglobin. This is why the blood is not red in color. Now can you say why the insect's blood is not red in color? Because the insect's blood does not contain the oxygen carrier called hemoglobin. That is why the blood is not red in color. How is oxygen then carried to the various parts of an insect's body? We want to check that. The spiracles lead to air tubes which form a fine network that reaches every tissue of the body. Air enters the body through this network. The body tissues absorb oxygen and give out carbon dioxide which is expelled from the body. I already told that uh, the insects uh, breathe through air holes called spiracles and the spiracles lead to air tubes which form a fine network these spiracles lead to air tubes which form a fine network that reaches every tissue of the body and the air enters the body through this network and the body tissue absorb oxygen and give out carbon dioxide which is expelled from the body some animals like earthworms take in oxygen through the thin moist skin how earthworms takes in oxygen Earthworms take in oxygen through the thin moist skin and a fish breathe through its gills. How fish is breathing? Fish breathe, breathe through its gills. 
aquatic animals like prawns, crabs, oysters and tadpoles breathe through its gills. And gills are special organs that are richly supplied with blood vessels. When water flows over the gills, an exchange of gases take place. takes place, and this gills absorb oxygen from the water and release carbon dioxide. Next is a frog. A frog is an amphibian. What is meant by an amphibian? Yes, both are living in water and land. So frog is an amphibian, and a baby frog or a tadpole. Baby frog is called. tadpole tadpole breathes through its gills an adult frog breathes through its lungs on land and through its moist skin in water so an adult frog breathes through its lungs on land and through its moist skin in water when and the frog is in water it breathes through its moist skin and when it is in land it breathes through its lungs reptiles birds and mammals breathe with the help of lungs who are mammals Yes, humans are mammals. We take in air through the nose, and this air enters the lungs through the windpipe. The lungs are richly supplied with the blood vessels. When the air reaches the lungs, an exchange of gases takes place between the air and the blood. When the uh, oxygen uh, or the air reaches the lungs, an exchange of gases takes place between yes, the air and the blood oxygen from the air passes into the blood and carbon dioxide from the blood passes into the air then the lungs contract and the air containing carbon dioxide come comes out through the nose whales and dolphins are also mammals therefore they are lung breathers even though they live in water they are living in water but how they are breathing they are breathing through the lungs why they are breathing through the lungs because these whales and dolphins are mammals and mammals breathe through the lungs so what are the things we studied today yes first we studied is habitat it's a place where animals living and then yes breathing in animals animals need to breathe to get oxygen and organs of breathing different animals have different organs for breathing first we discuss microbes or microscopic animals case that is amoeba paramecium how they are breathing they are breathing through the body surface then in the case of insects that is grasshoppers cockroaches they breathe, breathe through air holes called spiracles then in the case of earthworms they breathe through the thin moist skin and in the case of fish it breathe through gills and in frogs when they are in land it breathe through lungs and in when they are in water it breathe through moist skin and in the case of frogs tadpole it breathe through gills and in the case of reptiles birds and mammals it breathe through lungs and whales and dolphins are aquatic animals but they are not using gills for breathing why because they are mammals and they are using lungs for breathing so these are the things we discussed today